Investors in the UK are now putting in place different strategies to ensure that international students pay up the balance of their tuition fee upon arrival in the United Kingdom. And this strategy also includes reporting some international students to the home office threatening to revoke their sponsorship, their visa sponsorship in the UK. And I'm going to share with you guys full details actually for those of you that are just coming to the UK or those that just came into the UK, you definitely need to watch this video till the end. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're coming across my channel for the first time, my name is Daniel. I currently reside in the UK and I share videos around traveling abroad. So if you're looking for a place to get first-hand information as regards to location abroad, then you're in the right place. Click on the red subscribe button to join the amazing Korean family. And for my returning subscribers, thank you guys for the love. Thank you for being here. I really do appreciate you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. If you don't have practically 70% of your tuition fee with you, there are some universities you should not even bother applying to in the United Kingdom. Now the truth is, many international students end up coming to the UK. After getting to the UK, they abandon their studies and venture into other things. And you know, this has put the universities in the UK in you know um, the receiving end. Many of them end up having like 40% of their, of their international students not coming back to school and all of those stuff. Now, some universities in the UK have now decided that one of the ways they can, you know, curb this is to put international students into a kind of commitment to their studies. Now, for instance, if you're coming to the UK for, you know, uh, a master's program that costs 12000 for instance, now, many international students are requested to pay just 3005 some investors even go as low as asking you to pay just £1,000 as deposit. Now, after paying the deposit, you can apply to get your cars, apply for your visa, and move into the UK. So many international students will discover that, oh, it's just £1,000, I can forgo that and just move around. And every um, university in the UK, I've got like a slot with your office number of students they can sponsor per semester and per year and all of those stuff. So many of these universities are left short. They need to pay staff, they need to pay lecturers, and many of the students are not coming back to school. They are not paying off the balance of their tuition fee. And some of them decided to put on some strategies. And there are some universities in the UK you should not even bother applying to if you don't have your money at hand. For, for instance, University of Bedfordshire. Now, this university now is requesting international students to pay as high as £8,500 before they issue your cars. They don't want to hear story. If you don't have eight five to pay, then don't worry because they know if you pay a thousand five hundred pounds, you can't then come into the UK and run away. <laughs> you have to finish your program. So uh, another university is Greenwich University. Greenwich University is now asking students to pay nine thousand five hundred pounds as deposit before they even give you cards to apply for visa. And you wouldn't blame these universities. They are business. They are into business, so they need to ensure that you also put in some sort of commitment to. Your studies now recent i met an international student that was reported to the home office for not paying up the t balance of his tuition fee in the united kingdom now the truth is before you apply for cars or before you apply for visa eventually you are required to provide your proof of funds which is a sum of the balance of your tuition fee and your living expenses so when you're coming to the uk the uk university expect that you have the balance of your tuition fee with you. They are not even expecting you to come into the UK to work to pay. They expect to have the funds at hand with you. And they've discovered over the years that many international students end up coming to the UK and they can't pay. So this guy, well, before, he, before he came to the UK, I think he paid about £5,000. He came for a program that cost £16,500 and he paid £5,000 as deposits, hoping that when he gets into the UK, he's going to work and pay up the £11,500 balance within a year. Now, I tell people, honestly, if you're an international student coming to the UK, please, if you don't have up to 70% of your tuition fee with you, you are going to struggle in the UK. That's the sincere truth because money is not flying anywhere. And as a matter of fact, you're an international student only allowed to work 20 hours. There's no way in God's name you can raise £11,500 within the space of one year of studying full time. It's not possible. So this student came into the UK, paid uh, £5,000 and was hoping to raise the balance of the tuition fee in the UK. And the school gave him three months deadline to pay up the balance of the tuition fee. 
while studying. And the annoying part is, if you're studying full time in the UK, depending on the university and the course you're studying, you need like 100% attention because it's a master's program basically. It's a self learning program where you need to learn yourself, study. And I'm currently writing my dissertation, and the feedback I'm getting from my supervisor shows that this program eh, is do it on your own. And I say, do it yourself, DIY. And you know, I was sending with uh, uh, let's say chapter of my project, and it's supposed to be, oh Daniel, good progress. Okay, you need to do this, do that, do this, do that, do that, and that's all. It will tell you how to. It will tell you what to do. <laughs> so it's all be self learning, and you need to be hundred percent in the course. And it doesn't make sense. After paying five thousand pounds, he was struggling to pay off the balance of his tuition fee. You know, was having sleepless nights, getting like a lot of emails from the university as regards to paying off the balance of his tuition fee. And both home and abroad, he had no money with him to pay off the balance of the tuition fee. So it affected some of his grades in the first semester. He was having immediately 40s and 50s in many of his um, assessments and models. And this actually destabilized him. And it doesn't make any sense paying over 15,000 pounds for a master's program in the UK and you don't graduate with a good grade, honestly. I was almost telling me, oh Daniel, this MBA you are doing in the UK, what exactly, why did you choose to come to this in the UK? And I'm like, it's, called, it's going to cost me less than two million to do MBA in one of the best universities in Nigeria. So if I'm coming to the UK to spend over 12 million naira, then I'm not joking here. I'm not here to just joke and just have 50s or, or 40s in my grades. So this student found it a bit difficult. The university um, you know, contacted the home office after missing so much deadline. But the sincere truth is, the university can't stop you from, um, uh, you know, from staying back in the UK if the issue is you paying up the balance of the tuition fee. So when the university reported to office, the home office asked him, because I gave him a strategy, you know, um, some months back that, okay, you don't have the funds with you, but make sure you do one thing, try to pay a particular amount every week. So even if it's 100 pounds, 200 pounds, 250 pounds, Try to make sure that you're paying something into the university bank account. So that was actually saved you. So when the university contacted the home office, the, uh, the, the home office asked the university if the student was paying any amount at all. And you know the feedback was this was uh, this was an information they got after calling the you know the boss of the department of, of his university. And they said, oh, because he's paying a particular amount every week, it shows that he's committed to the program. He's not running away. So they need to give him time. Or give me a payment plan. Now, it's university don't usually give a payment plan, but they were forced to give me a payment plan because they can't send him away from the country. He's already here. He's at any classes. They could see he's doing assessments and submitting his, you know, assi assignments and all those stuff. So they gave me a payment plan, and the payment plan is supposed to last to the end of the program. So that time we had the conversation. He was done with this program, but he was still in the school about two thousand five hundred pounds. Obviously, he's not going to get a certificate until he pays off the balance of the tuition fee. And he won't be able to apply for his post-study work visa if he doesn't pay off the balance of his tuition fee. So imagine the you know the uh, challenge he's facing at the moment. He can't pay up the balance of his. He can't apply for post-study. He can't get the certificate, and that means he needs about four thousand five hundred pounds now within in the space of two months. If not, he's not going to be able to stay back in the UK legally enough because he needs two five to pay off the balance of the tuition fee. To get the certificates and the link to apply for post study, then you need to pay another two thousand pounds to apply for post study. Honestly, financial pressure can really you know frustrate international students in the UK. So that's why if you see people posting fine pictures in the UK and they are still on tier four, please pity them. Don't build them if you are back home in Nigeria. You don't know what they are also going through, trying to sort out bills and all of those things in the United Kingdom. It can be frustrating. So I tell people, don't put yourself in unnecessary financial pressure. If you can't afford this particular tuition fee, go for another school or another program with cheaper accommodation, uh, with cheaper tuition fee. I was surprised when my, when my very close friend told me that because she's coming into the UK in the next few weeks and she told me an MBA program for our university is just £9,000. And I'm like, are you joking? My MBA program in the UK, £9,000. While the same program is for £16,000 in my university. So she has saved herself £7,000 in cost and you know, still be able to come to the UK to study the same MBA program. Yeah, it might be from a university that is not part of the top universities in the UK. However, the Coco Shah to enter the UK, you always find your way around. You know, if you get a bit richer in the UK, you can go for the bigger universities, Cambridge and the likes, to study whatever course you want to study. But first, just try and make sure that you 
have a good budget and you have the financial strength and capacity to get your program done in the united kingdom so that's all about it about that as i said no invest is going to send you away so if you are struggling with payment of the tuition fee just try and be dropping some amounts small small in that their account so that they won't have anything to hold against you that we came into the uk and they've not received any single payment from you so even if you have time to pay from your own country and the process is taking too long from the little money you are making in the uk 100 pounds weekly try and pay into the account to show like a, a payment history in your you know profile with the university so if you are currently in the uk as an international student and your university provide like payment plan or your university have a course that is quite cheap and affordable for international applicant please state in the comment section honestly might actually be helping someone to make the right decision if you have a program you're studying in the uk and the tuition fee is less compared to other universities because people might not be able to do extensive research to look at the cost of a particular program from all universities in the uk so if you are schooling in a particular university for instance university of sunderland and your you know msc in public health is about eight thousand pounds which is lower compared to other universities please state in the comment section it's going to be helpful to someone so i hope you find this video useful. so if you do please click on the like button and if you have any questions please state in the comment section i'll try to respond as soon as possible and if you're coming across my youtube channel for the first time i don't know what you're waiting for click on the red subscribe button to join the amazing growth family and for my eternal subscribers thank you guys for the love thank you for being here i really do appreciate you guys so this will be the end of this video and i'll definitely see you guys in the next video Thank you.